Hello everyone, it's Unikitty Emmy and today we are going to be making a Harry Potter book on Maker's Empire. We're going to do the shape of module. It's because it will be the easiest module to use. First, we're going to get a square and we're going to stretch it out into a rectangle, kind of like the shape of a book. Then we can change the colour. Because I'm doing the Prisoner of Azkaban, I'm going to make the colour a dark blue, like the nighttime sky. Let's see which colour will look good. Hmm. That's definitely not what we want. This looks alright. Okay. You know what? We might change it just a little bit more to make it more dark. Now that's a nighttime sky. Now, for the first bit, we are going to insert a rectangular shape. This will be the heading where the author's name will be. We will make it lighter so that it will stand out against the dark blue book. Oh, we gotta make that a bit higher. You know, I think we should make it lower too. The book isn't that thick. Now, we are going to write J.K. Rowling, which is the author, because in every book, you need to have the author's name. Whoops, <laughs> better do that again. Now we'll make it smaller and change the colour. Oh, let's change that a bit. Now we just need to make it taller so we can see it. Yay, we did it! Now, to make it a bit more bold, I think we should do something underneath it. We're going to use little dashes and then position the dashes underneath, kind of like it's underlined. Just Let's just arrange that to size. Now we just need to make it a bit higher. Oh, and a little bit smaller too. Now we need to move it down a little bit. Perfect. the next bit we are going to make a moon. Now to do this we are going to have to use a boolean. If you don't know what that is it's when you have two shapes touching each other and one shape cuts off the other shape making a new shape. Because we're going to do a quarter moon we have to do this process twice. Perfect. Now we just need to make our moon a little bit bigger and put it in the corner. Now, I think we need to have some craters on the moon. So for this, we are going to use little circles to make of different sizes to make different shapes. We should also make it grey so it stands out like a crater. Oh, we should make it a little bit taller just as well. And a bit smaller too. Oh. Now, let's make this one a little bit bigger. Now, I think we need to have a few more. But our moon is looking pretty awesome, don't you think? If you want to get um, if you want to get a crater the same size, you click the duplicate button. And then you can move it over and have it positioned perfectly. Now that is an awesome moon. Now, 
Now we're going to make Harry Potter. We need to get the right skin tone, so we're going to have to change the colour a little bit. Perfect! Now we need to make Harry's glasses. For this, I'm going to do little O's. It might look a bit funny, but it will be glasses in the end. Now we're going to need to duplicate that so that, the so that the glasses are the same size. Now we we're going to use a little rect rectangle shape to hold the two lenses together. There. Now we need to make sure it's even both sides and that they're level. Now we're going to group them together so that it'll be easier to move around. Whoops, we don't want to group that to the head. Now, we're going to make Harry's nose. So for this, we're going to do a little C. For correction, a capital C. We're going to turn it sideways and it will look like a cute little button nose. Once we make it a bit smaller, that is. Now, now we're going to have to make Harry's, oh, I don't know what happened there. Let's try it again, shall we? Okay, now I think we need to make Harry's mouth. For this, we are going to do an end bracket. We need to turn it to its side and make it curve up a little bit, and then we have a perfect smile. Now we're going to draw Harry's lightning bolt scar. We're going to we're going to draw